So we want to find the domain and range from the graph of a parabola. So given a graph, we're asked to find the domain and the range. So again, domain is all the input values. So domain means all possible inputs, which generally is all x values. The range is all possible outputs, also known as, most often, the y values or answers. So when I want to find the domain, my focus is to bring all of the x values down to the um, x-axis. So here there's an x value comes down. All of these x values can come down. And this graph is going to continue forever. So I'm going to be able to pull down every x value as I head off to positive infinity. So now I'll go to the left side of the graph and I'll work backwards. And I'm going to see that this graph also continues up. So I'm going to be able to continue pulling all of the values down to the x-axis. And then because I'm able to have this whole line of values, the domain for this function is all real numbers. And that can be written two ways. Um, we can write all reals. Uh, we also can say x is in between positive and negative infinity with symbols. I believe Alex is going to ask us to use all reals for their answer, but know that this is an option as well. So now we want to find the range. So what we want to do is project the graph onto the y-axis. So what y values will we have? So we start kind of at a key um, turning key point um, right here at the vertex, the graph turns. So we kind of know we have the bottom. So we're going to go straight over. And that meets at a two. And then the, um, this Y value comes over and we keep coming over. And we notice this graph is going to go up. So our y values are going to start at 2 and then they're going to keep going up forever so for the range we're going to answer that y is larger again remember you know it's larger because this is pointing to the positives okay this that arrow up here points to the positives so it's going to get larger and it's equal to the number two so we're going to enter the domain is all reals and that the range um, y is greater than or equal to two Okay, so again, we want to find the domain and the range. So here the domain. Our focus on x. So we want to bring the graph down to the x-axis. So it touches here. And we're bringing all of the values down. And this is going to keep going up. So I'll be able to go imaginary value up there. Gets to come down. And we're going to get to continue all the way to the positives. All the positive values are going to continue. And so we'll go to the other side of the graph. We'll see that we can bring um, the x value 0 and then the x value 1. Bring down. We'll have a value at negative 2. And if this graph keeps going, we'll have values all the way to negative infinity. So the domain for the x will be all reals again. And then we'll want to do the range. So for the range, we want to bring the y values over. So I have a y value. My first y value will be 0. Then I have a graph here um, at 1. Then at 2, there's answers. Come over to 3, 4, 5, and we're going to continue up. So our range for the, our y values started 
y value started at 0, so y will be greater than or equal to 0 because all of the y values above it are included in the graph. So down here we'll click all reals for domain, and then we'll go ahead and enter y, and you can use your um, keyboard keys or use the greater than or equal to value, and we'll put it in 0. One more here. So again, uh, domain, we're worried about X. So again, I'm worried about what X values are in the graph. So here is uh, negative four. This X value here would have been negative three. If this were to continue, I would have had negative two. And the graph continues, so I'll have negative one. Um, and I'll be able to continue that pattern all the way forever to the right. And so now we'll check on the left side. Um, this graph, the X value was negative five. This ordered pair here, once it connects, will be at negative six. And I'll be able to have negative seven. Since this graph's gonna continually go forever down. So again, I will have all reals. So all quadratic functions that have no restrictions, the domain will be always all real numbers. And then we'll go ahead and look at the range. And that's the one that changes. So again, with the range, we're looking at the y values of the graph. <clears throat> so what y values do we have? Here, this order pair, the y value is negative three. Here, the y value is negative four. And of course, all in between. Um, negative five, this y value is negative six. Y value negative seven and a half, negative 10. And this graph has arrows, so it's going to keep going down. Keep going down. So for the range, which again is our Y values, we're gonna say Y is less than or equal. And we're gonna find that largest value there, which is negative three. And so that's what we're gonna go ahead and put into our uh, function here. We're going to choose the domain. All reals. And we'll go ahead and put in y less than or equal to negative 3.